<laughs> Maybe so. So tonight's project is air. I gotta take this good old central pneumatic tank that I picked up at the dump. It's gonna turn into my air tank for that. I gotta cut this plunger off the top. I gotta put a couple new, new fittings in it to get what I need out of it. Plug up a couple holes and then I'm gonna mount it right up in here. Something like that. The tire's gonna clear it just barely or mostly clear it. I think that's where I want it. And now I'm gonna put my air compressor up on the bed in the back, build a little cover for it so that it stays out of the mud and stuff. So we'll get after it. We're gonna need to move that to there. Solid. For an old harbor freighter, that thing's pretty, pretty tough. All right, I'm gonna cut those off. There's one. There's two. That one I'm gonna keep. It's got a check valve in it. Mostly clean. Okay. I got multiple glasses on here. We don't need this anymore. Yeah, I just made that. <laughs> Don't act surprised. Maybe I'll just get a piece of square tube, weld along the bottom of this, and just drill holes down through it and bolt it on there. That sounds like the easiest way to mount it. That's crusty. I think we're gonna want to run a pipe tap into that thing. There we go. Now we got some good threads again had some Loctite or something in them. One of these needs to get cut right out and one of these welded into it. Wherever the lowest point's gonna be. It's gonna go in just like that. You could build one right off the end of it right there. I probably will, I'll probably put it right here. Threads are kinda messed up on that thing. We'll Loctite or cross thread it, one of the two, into that and make it work. Eight inches. We should be able to make that work just like that. Yeah, that's gonna work. Really good though. Then we'll drill a hole in the bed run the main line right down through, plumb it into here. This will be where the chuck is. Do you know what we're missing? What? We are missing this. Basically what I've got to have here, got to have this little thing. This is my pressure switch. So it's got to go in. That's what kicks the pump on and off when it needs air. Then I got to have a feed line going to my front ARB. You wanna know what makes me feel stupid? I think we just cut it off. Yeah, that one right there. Think that's the right thread by chance? Yep, I do. Well, by golly. <laughs> I guess it doesn't make me feel stupid because we didn't want it coming out the bottom anyway. Cause then you get like water and all that stuff into your ARB. We're gonna grind that around and we're gonna plug it in somewhere else. Maybe in this side of it over here. And it can go out under the bed. I think I'll do it farther up. Right here somewhere. That one needs to go right there. Hold Pull. that right there for just a second. Weasel my head up through there. That was my head then, then I think. <laughs> so, right there. Not That's where it's right. going. Yeah. All right. That's hot right on my head. 
Getting closer. Perfect, just like so. Huh. That's a lot of nasty stuff in there. All right, we're gonna drill these other holes and then we're gonna clean it out. I thought it was right here. Nope, I'm a, I changed my mind. Oh. Right here's where I wanted it. Instead of a pop, or that bleeder valve, we're gonna put a pop-off valve. These things, I could only find them in galvanized, so they're not ideal, but they're gonna work. There's still lots of rust. There's less. I'm happy with that. All right, time to bring the welder over. Buzz all this stuff in. Are you gonna ground that smooth? They're already, nah, I know. I'm not worried about that. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm not going for what looks good. We're going for what works good tonight. I need some air. Something almost killed me. That was uh... Ford emblem. Yeah, Ford. <laughs> New Fords were out to no good, right? <laughs> They'll kill you. Woohoo! Jeez Sparks. Louise. Alright. Now we gotta do is plug them up. See if it holds air. It'll hold air. Yeah. Game plan is to put the air compressor right here. And then I'm going to put a little cover over it so it doesn't get hit or anything. Drill a hole. This will stub straight down through the bed and plug into this air tank. I need to like 27 3 8 drill bits. That's what I use the most of. And they always get beat up. I got to replace this one. It's not very happy right now. Maybe they should leave us in the comments which drill bit's tougher. I know. They should probably tell us what's their favorite drill bits. And which one's tougher? These ones are uh, Fastenal brand. And I, they've been pretty good. I've ran Milwaukee's, are okay. The Waltz are, I haven't had very good luck with the Waltz. <laughs> this drill press doesn't turn any slower than this. This is the lowest gear it's got. So it burns them up pretty frequently. But, it works. Alright, that one is going to go in there just like so. Alright. Let's see if we can bleed. What do you say? She's in there, all secured up. Now I got to mount the air compressor down in the back of here, plumb a line down to it. That line's going to be a real pain in the butt. Maybe not. Oh no, I can get to it. So I'll have to drill a hole in the bed up here, plumb the line down to it, and then life will be good. We can start hooking air lines up and then wire it, build some air. But that's another night because I'm tired, I'm going to bed. All right, so I've been getting my air system all done. Tank's mounted down here. It's all put in and plumbed. Everything's good. Got a little gauge under there so I can see everything. Got my port and my pop-off valve down here. My compressor sitting right there. I got to get a couple rubber grommets still, but we're gaining. I'll go wire this thing and see if it builds air. All right, I got this thing temporary. As you can see, it's uh, clattering back here. We're trying to build some air right now. So we'll see if it works. Pump, it's running. Get a light so you can see. You can see that, but I'm at 85, 90 PSI right now. I sprayed it with a bottle. I got no leaks, 
so I think things are gonna work out. I'll just wire the switches up, she'll be done. All right, so this thing is uh, almost to 150 PSI right now, and it should kick off if I got everything hooked up right. We're just gonna wait here and see if it kicks off, and then I'll know I did some stuff right. I got a few leaks. You can see them bubbling right there. I gotta pull it off and put a little more thread sealer on it. It's not liking it, so I'll fix that. It'll be happening if this shuts off. Maybe it ain't gonna work. Oh, there it shut off. Sweet. That part works. Now I'll fix some leaks and we'll be good to go. All right, this is, this is my current status. I'm wiring. So these are where these are gonna go in the dash right here. I just gotta get 12 volt key power and this thing's done. Alexa, turn off. All right, we got this thing wired up. So right now it's unlocked. Hubs are in. So we'll flip the switch. Now we're locked up Fozzy. So work it, unlock it, free. So life is good. We'll carry on to the next phase. That's final install. This one turns compressor on. That one locks the front end in. So got her whipped, go wheeling. All right, so I gotta fix this rattle. This right there is not good. So I gotta weld that all up and fix that somehow. So that's what I'm gonna do now. The truck looks pretty, pretty neglected with no hood. And then we're gonna fix the front bumper. I've hated it for ever since I built it. I'm gonna put a new winch in it, 12,000 pounder. And I'm gonna make it so I can reach right in the front and open it and lock it. So this is going away. I'm gonna put two little lights on the side. and I don't know yet, somehow I'm gonna fix it. We'll see. All right, it's not pretty, but I think it's gonna hold and it shouldn't make noise anymore. So I'll get the hood put back on. We'll take it for a ride. All right, so we're on test ride. We just got the truck all done. Front end's all put together. The air's all installed on it. Everything seems to be happy. So we're gonna go flex it up a little bit and kick the locker in and we'll show you the difference of having a locker and not having a locker and we'll see if it works. So we're going to try this hill first with no lockers and we'll show you the difference of having lockers and not having lockers. better and I can unlock them and drive them like a normal truck so hop in let's do it this is a steep one right here probably have to put your seatbelt on probably so all right we'll ease up this one
TV. right here so it's hard to get him up. to that tree and pull us up out of here. There she goes. Got the winch rope. All right, that's good. That was a little uh, worse than I expected it hey, was you, Now be. you got white wall tires. <laughs> white wall them. <laughs> yeah, that was a little more sticky than I thought she was going to be there. Or soft, I guess. soft right there. It's soft. But the good news is air locker worked like a charm. We weld on that pretty hard. Everything seems good with that so seems uh, off to the Rubicon we go. Yes sir. All right so air locker front end all seems good. We tested it out pretty fair. I think it's gonna hang and I think Basically, well, we're not ready. We still got to do some front bumper work, some light work. We're going to put a new winch on a 12,000 pounder and make it more accessible so I don't have to open the hood. That's a pain. But for now, she's good to go. 